In this video, we're going to go over graphing rational functions. Uh, this is the second one in a series of videos on this topic. In the first one, I went over four things you need to do when you graph rational expressions. The first is to simplify the equation. The second is to identify vertical asymptotes and holes by finding excluded values. The third is to identify horizontal asymptotes or slant asymptotes or oblique asymptotes. A slant asymptote and an oblique asymptote are the same thing. And then the fourth thing you need to do when graphing rational expressions is to identify the x and y intercepts. So going right into this example here, we have a function here 3x over x squared minus x minus 2. The first thing we want to do is simplify this or make sure we can't reduce anything. So we're going to go 3x and in the denominator we can factor this to x minus 2 x plus 1. Uh, we can't factor anything out of this. However by factoring the denominator we can tell where our excluded values are. The excluded values are where the denominator cannot equal 0. So uh, if x was 2 that it would make it 0, so that can't be. And x equals negative 1, because that would um, make each of these equal to 0, making the denominator 0, so they're excluded. Uh, there are no holes, because we don't have to reduce anything uh, out of this equation. So these are our vertical asymptotes, x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. No holes. Horizontal asymptotes. To find them, we want to pay attention to the leading exponents in the numerator and the denominator. Uh, the leading exponent in the numerator is a 1, although it's not written, and the denominator is a 2. So we want to look at the relationship there. That is smaller, 1 is smaller than 2. Uh, and in this case, it matches here. The numerator, the exponent in the numerator, is smaller than the exponent in the denominator. Therefore, there is a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0, or along the x-axis. So there's a horizontal asymptote, y equals 0. Uh, there's no slant asymptote. If you have a horizontal asymptote, you won't have a slant asymptote. The x-intercept, we can find it by looking at a graphing calculator. Uh, we could also set the numerator equal to 0. Well, 3x 3x equals 0, so x has to equal 0. So there's an x-intercept at 0, 0, which means there is a y-intercept at 0, 0. Uh, and just to go through the motions here, to find the y-intercept, we would set x equal to 0 in this equation. We'd have 0 over negative 2, which is indeed 0. So this is the, the intercept is the origin. So let's put all this together into the form of a graph. And we have a graph that's going to look like this. It's going to have an asymptote at x equals negative 1, another asymptote at x equals 2, vertical asymptotes. We're going to have a horizontal asymptote here at y equals 0. To find out how the graph behaves, first of all, use a graphing calculator. Or you're going to have to make, and you can look at a table of values to get points to help you plot these or you can literally make an xy table of values and plot points. You'll find that these parts here behave like 1 over x. Um, and the inside here behaves a bit like opposite x cubed. It does cross there at the origin. I hope you found this to be a good video on graphing rational functions. I expect to make one or two more like this. Thanks for watching.